Preventing hypothermia is extremely important for the casualty. It's not just about keeping them warm. It may also save their life. Casualties can become hypothermic, which worsens bleeding. To prevent hypothermia, minimize the casualty's exposure to the elements and keep protective gear on or with the casualty if feasible. Replace wet clothing with dry if possible. Get the casualty onto an insulated surface as soon as possible. Apply the Ready Heat Blanket from the Hypothermia Prevention and Management Kit, or HPMK, to the casualty's torso, not directly on the skin, and cover the casualty with a heat reflective shell, or HRS. If an HPMK is not available, the combination of the Blizzard Survival Blanket and the Ready Heat Blanket may also be used. If nothing else is available, use dry blankets, poncho liners, sleeping bags, or anything that will retain heat and keep the casualty dry. Warm all IV fluids if possible. The Ready Heat Blanket can produce temperatures reaching 104 degrees Fahrenheit for several hours and work for up to eight hours. Avoid direct contact with bare skin as thermal burns are possible. Keep top or t-shirt on and place Ready Heat over the fabric. Ready Heat Blankets may not work as well at high altitudes. The lower partial pressure of oxygen at high altitudes may not be enough to sustain the chemical reaction required to generate heat. Remember, we're not talking about hypothermia in the usual sense, which is dying from cold exposure. We're talking about keeping your blood clotting system working. Casualties in shock are unable to generate body heat effectively. Even a small decrease in body temperature can interfere with blood clotting and increase the risk of bleeding to death. Hypothermia is much easier to prevent than to treat. In summary, minimize the casualties exposure and keep protective gear on if feasible. Apply the ready heat blanket and cover the casualty with a heat reflective shell. Warm IV fluids if they are required and prevent hypothermia before it happens.